Welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Stephanie. Before we get started, Lord, I come before you humble, giving you thanks and giving you praise. Holy Spirit, asking that you word my mouth, because you know what needs to be said, and you know what needs to be heard. Lord, I just ask if there's anyone that's seeing this video that does not know you, I ask that you give them a heart of repentance. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Today we're going to be talking about... Um, these the mask had a dream concerning the mask um it's a good dream to me i'm sick of these masks i'm so tired of these masks now until when i go in the store i go all the way in without a mask it's not good it's just that i know it's time that we stop wearing these masks um and with that being said, let me get into the video. Okay, so in this dream, it's very short. Me and my daughter, we was going to different places in this dream. We was going to the malls. We was going out to eat. We was going everywhere. Just having fun. Um, when all of a sudden, um, I noticed we didn't have on mask anymore. And I, in the dream, I brought that to her attention. I said, you know what? We didn't have on our mask this whole time. And right after I said that, I felt in the spirit of, uh, uh, it was like a freedom, like a fresh, fresh air. Like, like a, it, it was very different. It was like um, freedom. It's like the air that we was breathing was, it was like, different it was like we was free again we was no longer in bondage because i really feel these masks i know these masks was a hindrance to us and i know that we're not supposed to wear these masks like this <clears throat> and with that being said the dream was of course that the Lord getting ready to get rid of these masks because he did not design for us to breathe in masks. He, this whole thing wasn't designed by him where we can't breathe freely as we go out. And I know you, you someone's probably saying, um, well, we knew eventually the masks would go away. Um, yes, we knew eventually the mask would go away, but it was something about the air, the freedom, that when we take these off, um, something in the atmosphere, in the dream shift, and when we take these these masks off, it's 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 like we're gonna, I don't know, it's like it's it's something gonna be different about the atmosphere that we live in. It's going to be something different about being on this earth. It's going to be a lot more uh, freedom that we're going to feel. And I and I also feel with that freedom going to come more love. We're going to treat each other better. Um, we're going to love our neighbors. We're going to help one another. Um, we gonna be more cautious to the, those things, cause when that when I when I noticed the mask wasn't on, not until then was I able to focus on breathing. And when I began to take a deep breath, it was something so different. It's different. I believe when the Lord take these masks away and say no more masks, it's gonna be different in the atmosphere. And with that being said, Lord, I come before you. And Lord, I thank you so much. I thank you for trusting me, oh God. Trusting me to show me things, to tell me things, oh God. I thank you and I praise you, oh God. I thank you for this moment, oh God. I thank you, oh God, that the season that we're getting ready to go, go, go in, after we go through the things that we have to go through, oh God, we're going to be able to breathe 
the air of freedom, O oh God. That you're going to set your people free from the yoke of bondage, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, because these masks, they've been nothing but a yoke of bondage, O oh God. Hard for some people to breathe in these things. Limited our breathing. Causes our breathing to be shortened. And Lord, I just thank you for coming to rescue us. I give you all the honor and all the glory and all the praise that is due to you. And if it's, no, if it's someone on here watching that does not know you, Lord, I, I ask that you give them a heart of repentance and that they will re confess their sins and that they will ask that you come into their heart and be their Lord and Savior. And Lord, I thank you and I praise you. And Lord, I love you. In Jesus' name, amen.